Hey everybody, it's Prylete. Welcome back to our Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play feature the Dwarf Druid, Bayard Thrills. Last session saw some interesting twists and turns as we managed to eliminate the evil hag Auntie Ethel, but in return, Marina did not seem very pleased. I'm really hoping that on our way out we see that some of those other people who are suffering under her curses are now free from those curses, and I really hope they're at least a little bit more appreciative. By the way, folks, last session was an absolute blast. I really enjoyed that battle. It was a very cool one with some interesting mechanics, and I'm curious to see exactly how the game pushes even further beyond, because we're only at the beginning of this game, truth be told. And folks, if you've been enjoying watching the beginning, and if you're curious about seeing this all to its conclusion, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving those likes and comments down below. As always, they make a very big difference in letting me know what people are enjoying on the channel. They let me know what I should do more or less of, and... Since I do read all of the comments and take them to heart, they have a direct impact on how I approach things on the channel as well, whether it's with regards to a specific series or the channel at large. So if you have any thoughts, opinions, questions, or feedback, anything else, drop them in the comments. They will get read and they will get taken into consideration. I've received some very interesting suggestions with regards to how to uh, approach the overall format and structure of the series, for example. And I'm just kind of considering how I can implement some of those suggestions and, you know, all in due time, of course, as I figure things out. I'll be uh, implementing your, your suggestions, your feedback, uh, as soon as I can kind of figure out how to best approach them. So thank you very much for all your comments and thoughts so far. Yes. Do keep them coming because, yes. yes, I very much do read all the comments. I do quite enjoy seeing your back and forths, your suggestions, your concerns, your fears, and uh, it's, uh, it's always a good time. Anyway, folks, let's go ahead and... Oh, right, before I leave this way, I wonder if I shouldn't how take a look at this door over here. Where would that take us? Search the lair for a way to help Marina. Hang on a second. Has she not left? There's the path to Moonrise Towers over here as well. Parlac, the tea house. So this has got to be maybe a shortcut out. Oh, that must be it. But hang on a second. Let's take a look at our journal. And let's take a look at save Marina. Search the lair for a way to help Marina. We saved Marina, but she was in a bad way. She left to say goodbye to her husband at his grave. Perhaps we can help her somehow. Mm, oh, I think I know how. I think I know how, but first we gotta get to her. Now, is this actually here, or is this above us? It is above us, so I, I, I'm not sure what's through this door, but uh, only one way to find out, I suppose. We do need to rest a little bit. Maybe we do a short rest right now to at least get Will hey, some of his uh, charges back, and everybody can heal up a little bit. We have a long rest mind. coming up as well, but might as well use one of the short rests of the two that we get in, you know, between every long rest. Go for it. <sighs> Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Okay. Chill, bro. We're gonna go through this wooden door and hope for the best, I suppose. What you got for me? Okay, nothing immediately. Ooh, this looks kind of spooky. Can't slow down. And an autosave. That always, always makes me nervous. Always makes me nervous. What's going on in here? What's going on in here? Mushroom circle. Well, that can't be good. Oracle going... Pig's head, potions, 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 bitter divorce. What is that? Mother's loathing, butterflies in the stomach. Oh, are these all like strange spells, I suppose? Okay, well, let's check it all out. Acrid workshop. All right, let's, uh, a pork loin. I could always use a pork loin. Can't send it to, okay. Surely I can send that to my camp. It must be from the inventory, I suppose. You know what? You know what? No, 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 no. No, no I'm not gonna... I'm not going to trust any food we find over here. I don't know. Something something makes me feel uncertain. Let me put it that way. Toss that to the side there. What else have we got over here? Potion of speed. I mean, the potions and stuff, I can probably trust. They're, you know, labeled the way they are. The ever-seeing eye. What are you? Protection from evil and good. A pale green eye pierced by the twisting branches of a dead tree. The result of a foolhardy woman begging auntie for a favor. I mean, I'll scoop that up, I suppose. We'll figure out who to give that to later on. Bitter divorce. What are you? Are you a are you a wand? Clumps of hair and flesh stick out from the twisted roots that make up the shaft of this wand. Connor is scratched into the surface. A hundred gold, or yeah, I guess it is gold. What? This is worth that much? I mean, don't mind if I do. I wonder if I can use that. Oh no. Journal update it saved Marina. We found a wand with Connor's name on it. Could this resurrect Marina's husband? Oh, I don't want to mess with that. Do I? Do I? I don't think so. Again, if we're a druid and we're all about the natural order, bringing something back from the dead, especially permanently, 
seems wrong. Using a spell like Speak with Dead, something temporary like that, a bit more forgivable, I think. But raising something permanently from the dead? I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. But we got some letters to and from Ethel over here. So let's get the one from or to first. This letter is written in elegant cursive. Ethel. I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. A client fled Baldur's Gate without payment. My agents picked up his trail along the Kyontar and have ensured he will pass through your territory. Do as you wish to him. In exchange... I have a girl who suits your particular appetites. Her mother's mind is failing. My contact has assured her you can help. I'll have her sent by the usual route. Interesting. And this one from Ethel. Blotches of ink are splattered on this unfinished letter written in an uneven scrawl. Sister dearest, are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't believe you let some pup give you the slip. I'd be mortified. Worry not. My red caps nabbed the bugger. They're taking their sweet time with him. The screaming stopped a few nights past, but the sobbing continues. You'll die regretting he crossed a hag. A mother with a failing mind? You know me so well. I have the most darling mask for her. You must come to vis... Mm, unfinished indeed. Very, very, very curious what's going on there. Uh, we got bone cap, we got uh, earthen bottles, a couple bottles, nothing I want over here. Uh, all these letters, heavy chest, wicker chest. Let's check these chests out. What do you have for me? Elixir of Barkskin. Drink to increase your armor class to 16. Again, elixirs are only active one at a time, but that's a pretty good elixir. Let's go ahead and pick you up. We've got ourselves a potion of animal speaking. Don't mind if I do. And a potion of speed. That has come in handy very recently. And of course, potions of healing. I will never say no to. Uh, a lot of spe This looks like a lot of potions. I'm curious if they actually have effects or what's going on there. But first, the heavy chest. Ooh, dark ring. Garnet ring. Copper ring. Tourmaline ring. And... Another garnet ring. These are all, I assume, wares, 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 and wares. Yes, wares. They don't. I don't. I don't trust them. I don't know why. Staff of crones. We'll take a look at that shortly. What is all this? Missing pets. A mother's loathing. Lover's avarice. Can I actually use these? Rotten pungency undercuts his potions. Otherwise, pleasant aroma of roses and honey. What do they all do? I imagine they won't tell me. A mother's loathing. A hint of blood lingers around the stopper. It's enough to make your mouth water. Mmm, I don't like that. Missing pets? Thousands of little legs skitter inside this bottle, seeking an escape. Oh, hang on a second. Do you think I should crack that open? I don't think I should drink this potion, but should I crack it open, perhaps? Or thousands of little legs, are they like insects? Okay, this one I'll pick up because I want to figure out what I might want to do with this. So let's let's pick that up. Butterflies in the stomach. A traditional brew of ergot and nutmeg meant to recapture the fluttering thrill of first love. And that sounds interesting. Lost time. Its seal is dry and cracked with age, yet the clear potion within bears no sign of spoilage. Might want to pick that up too. That might, might come in handy. Altering will. A sweet intoxicating aroma hangs around this bottle. It reminds you of home. I don't like that. Uh, heart of stone. Fragments of malachite swirl at the bottom of this potion, coalescing and separating rhythmically. Heart of stone. Hmm. Insanity's kiss. That doesn't sound good. Something thrashes in this heavy gourd, consumed by rage. No thank you, and earthen bottle. Yeah, I don't know if these are actually usable in any way or provide any assistance of any sort, but I'm going to keep the ones that I took and leave the rest behind as I examine this staff of crones. One to eight damage. Okay. Uh, it's a quarter staff, so I can use it. It allows me to use the ray of sickness. Two to 16 damage. That's not bad. Two to eight poison. That is not bad. And then, of course, we can, you know, use it to topple as well. This might actually replace my current weapon. I don't know, though. Right? Like, if I'm all about being a druid in natural order and all that stuff, I this, you know, doesn't sit, doesn't sit right with me. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and get somebody else to pick that up. Shadowheart? Whatever comes, How about you get, go ahead ready. and pick that up? Probably the safest from whatever evil it uh, contains within. Light on my feet. But one thing I want to check, actually, and having seen that, our current weapon is also versatile. Can I not, um... 
How do I? Oh, I added it to my hot bar, hot bar by mistake. How do I? How do I? How do I make sure you're being used with both hands? I assume by default it is, unless I add another melee weapon. Let me just check here. If I add a club over here, can I? Didn't let me. A club has to be used by both hands as well. What if I add bitter divorce? No, I'm not trusting that right now. What about you? Also versatile? Hmm. Because it says versatile means it can be used with one hand or two, and it does more damage when wielded with both hands. Anyway, I'll, I'll futz around with that between sessions or something. Right now, let's turn our gaze to this mushroom circle and hope for the best. This makes me a little nervous. Let's check it out. Oh. Oh, where are we? I did not realize I would teleport me somewhere. Oh, and there's Marina. Okay, well, I'm glad I came through this way, because otherwise I would have missed this, probably. Make our way up to her and see what's going on. That's the coffin. If we have to use Speak with Dead, that's what I'm thinking. If we use Speak with Dead, then maybe she'll get closure or something. I'm not going to bring him back to life Is that what, if, that what's, if that's what that wand does. That is not my intent. But Marina, talk to me. Gods, didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> I found a wand. I think I can resurrect your husband. That does not seem right. That does not seem right. Ask, are you alright? Of course she's not alright. You could just leave him here. Whining won't get you there any faster. Stand with her in silence. Leave her to mourn. Could she just leave her here? Is that really an option? It's the only, like solution of the lot i suppose i could do the whole thing where i actually you know just listen <laughs> right that's always nice sometimes you just need somebody to listen and, and not provide solutions and she's obviously not all right but hey right i'm bayar i don't pick up on social cues you all right not even a little bit but i will be uh you could just leave him here, I think is the second thing Bear would say. No! He deserves a proper burial! He deserves some rest. And he won't get that here. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, resurrection. Again, permanent resurrection is, is, I don't think, in keeping with, uh, with Bear. So I will stand with her in silence. The respectful thing to do. Give her some company. And a shoulder if she needs it. We were just kids when we met. <laughs> I might have pushed him off a swing I wanted. He got right up and pushed me back. I was so surprised that I just laughed. He did too. We've barely spent a day apart since. Oh boy. <laughs> the game really wants me to use that wand, huh? No, I will leave her to mourn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't bring you back. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, it's still an option. It's still an option. Maybe I leave it open for the time being. Maybe I need some introspection over here. Maybe I need to investigate some of the other people who suffered under the hag. See what happens there, and then make my decision about Marina. I imagine I can't wait too long. I imagine she won't be here forever mourning. But, um... I, 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 I can't convince myself to resurrect this body right now. Not right now, at least. Now, what's going on this way? Is this the way we came from? No, we actually haven't explored that way. We can head up this way, back to the tea house. Um, okay, fair enough. There's a couple of things that I want to tackle, and some of them are, yes, at the tea house, or actually within the, uh, the hag's lair. Uh, so before I go too far, why don't we head back in this way, through the mushroom circle, and investigate the, uh, the, the lair once more. Just the other way, I suppose. Might have been easier to just go up to the tea house now that I think about it, but, uh, hey, we're back here now. We're gonna make our way, um, gonna make our way back the way we came. Just in case we missed something. Ugh, gonna have to make our way through all those, um... The, uh, the, 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 the noxious fumes and stuff, aren't we? 
that's gonna be a bit of a pain, but we know a path now at least. Oh wait, hang on. Wasn't there... Oh, hang on a second. Oh, the fume- oh, the fumes are gone. So they were all magic, I guess? But no, at least one of them was coming out of a vent. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. That's fine. If they're gone, they're gone. That sounds good to me. Let's uh, make our way out. Ooh. And, and now we can see the vents. Should I disarm them just in case? I guess so, Asteria. Oh, there. get up here. Before everybody jumps down. It's so goofy sometimes. Go ahead and disarm that. Please. And DC of 30? Are you kidding me? I'm better off just leaving it be. I'll take that guidance. Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen, right? Famous last words. Rolled an 8. So we're definitely failing this. I'm not going to use an inspiration for this, but I'm curious what actually happens with this fail. Because it's not like the vent is actually doing anything, but... Okay, I guess I'll leave it be. Make our way up. Yeah, looks like we're good. Can I come up this way? I can indeed. All right, all right. Sounds good. Switch to bear. He's our leader. As it could have. Empty wicker chest. Wonder That's the one we used to... Is, is that the one we used? I, I guess. Where's the... Oh, right. The ladder is gone. Oh, no. How do I get up there? Oh, no. Did I eliminate my only way back up this way? No way. Oh. Nice. Got to backtrack a little bit, but, but, but we have a way up, I think. Yes, we do. Yeah, because we can, we can, we can, we can go up that way. All right, cool. A little nervous there for a second, but we're okay. I, I should have just, <laughs> I should have just walked up to the tea house through the mushroom circle. It's obviously the way to go, the faster way to go, at least. There's the other vent. Yeah, n now we can spot all the vents, nice and easy, of course. Good stuff. We'll make our way up over here. I don't know if all these flowers have been taken care of, but I'm playing it safe as much as possible. Or maybe there, maybe everything's just kind of shut off now because the hag's been taken care of. Makes you wonder what happens if you like make a different decision back there when she was offering um, an exchange, when she was haggling, for lack of a better word. Everyone come through, come on. Yep. Man. I really feel like there were there were options here. If these guys were still alive, I really feel like there were options here, but what are you going to do? Make a way out. Swarming toadstool. Let's pick that up. I don't think I have one of those yet. Grab that. Yep. Essence of swarming toadstool. I really have to start diving into some of these uh, recipes. I also really need to bind um, Will to his weapon. My apologies. I keep forgetting to do that. I'll, I'll do that like between sessions or at the beginning of next session or something. I just kind of like get in the zone and start rolling, and I, I, I just don't. Right. Through the door. Or rather, through where the door was, so this guy's okay. Lauren looks okay, he's not screaming anymore. Elfrin looks okay. That blinded elf is still very much dead. And, oh, Ma I didn't realize Magron and Magron's head were two separate things. Interesting. And I wonder what's up with that skull. Alright, first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the studded shield. Have these changed? A thief who tried to steal from Auntie. No. Now the good little pet guards my home. They have not changed. All right, Lauren, what's up with you, buddy? Is the hack gone? God, tell me she's gone. Oh, please. She's dead. You're safe now. You're lucky to be alive. I could have killed you. Are you all right? Well, let's first confirm, you know, his suspicions here. She's dead. You're safe now. May she burn in the nine hells. The things she did. The things she made me do. Vile. Disgusting. Good gods. You. You're the one. The mind flayer. Dude, relax. I helped you. I have no idea what you're talking about. I saved your life. Be grateful, honestly. Or not if I can help it. Can you still see it? I am quite curious, actually, about what he sees. No. The hag's gift is gone, but it's... It's going to happen. Soon. I saw you screaming. Covered in your own insides as that... That thing bursts out of your skull. You change. 
skin ripping from your body and then you butcher everyone. Everyone around you. Okay. Be specific. When will this happen? I... I don't know. It could be a ten day. It could be any moment. I can't do this. You're too dangerous. I'm... I'm sorry. No one's gonna be grateful. <laughs> no one, no one is gonna be grateful. All that effort, and for what? It's okay. Heroes do heroics, you know, out of goodness. Let's see if, let's see if, uh, Elfrin's doing all right. Oh, oh, my head! Oh, no. No. Why ain't I petrified? The hag is dead. What? How... How am I still breathing? I have the bite. Mm, the bite's a terrible disease. I can see why you went to the hag, says the dwarf in me. Sure, I mean, that's the antithesis of what's the bite exactly. So apparently as a dwarf, I should know what it is. And so I'm going to go with that. The bite's a terrible disease. I can see why you went to the hag. Right? It was that or die covered in my own insides. It's why she petrified me to stop the spread. I was on death's door. But now I feel... I feel great. Oh. Was the hag lying to him? I could look for remnants of the hag's magic. I could examine him for signs of Lodiger's bite. Or no time for questions. Get out of here while you still can. Well, I mean, medicine is my thing, so I'm going to examine him for signs of Lodiger's bite. Maybe, uh... Maybe he was misdiagnosed on purpose or something. I don't know, but I will take that guidance. Thank you very much. DC 15. Hope for the best. We do have some inspirations that we could use if need be. Need does not be. Look pretty good. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And let's see what we say here. Not only is the disease gone, you see it's left no scars. An impossibility for the bite. What? But that doesn't make a lick of sense. Unless... That double-crossing, filthy, lying hag! She made me sick and then trapped me in stone for kicks! Sounds like a hag. Sounds like a hag. I'm sorry this happened to you. I left me wife, me kids behind for fear of infecting them. They were only babes. The stones know how old they are now. Focus on the positive, at least you'll see them again. Okay, hopefully they've grown. Children are disgusting. Come on, man. Listen, I have places to be. <laughs> Some of these responses are so callous. Uh, but now you have many more years ahead of you. Yes, let's let's look for that kindred connection. Even though I never felt close to my dwarf kin, if it'll bring him some solace over here, let's try it. But now you have many more years ahead of you. True. And I don't plan to waste a moment more. I... I ain't got no way to repay you. Don't worry. I didn't help just to get a reward. Damn right. <laughs> Damage you could have said as much from the start. Or you'll figure it out, you owe me a debt, and I intend to collect. No, no, no. I didn't help just to get a reward. No. What you've done for me and mine today won't be forgotten. Thank you. At least somebody was appreciative. All right, you know what? Worth it. I just want to take a look at this family portrait real quick. Dearest Efren, he begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. I mean, he can't... Uh, I guess it doesn't explicitly state that he came here with the disease. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming his, uh, his, his, his explanation makes sense. Watery eye. I didn't notice you before. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. Well, she's dead. So, that's that. Not gonna use uh, magic to bring her back to life to have a conversation with her. That's that's unnecessary. And I assume Magron is dead as well, but let's see what his head has to say, I suppose. My darling Magron. She wished for the mind of a genius, but the silly head crossed me. What her head has to say, I suppose. What kind of an explanation is that? That's so unfair. I mean, again, it's a hag. Fairness doesn't matter. 
The skull. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. And what's at the mirror then? The mirror glints in the light. The screams from within now silent. I mean, I hope. Hope that's a positive end result, I guess. Is this pouch not empty? Let's check it out. And I guess that's everybody over here, right? Some raw steak. Ah, I don't trust something I'm gonna find over here, man. Right next to this gnarly cauldron. I'm good. Let's leave. Let's leave. Got everything here checked out. Make our way back up. Yep. Through the uh, fireplace, I believe, and out into the tea house. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That was a that was a fun side quest. That was a fun side quest. Let's keep going. And let's go ahead now and check. Well, right. So, Save Marina has not yet been completed. I really have to think about this one. I would love to hear your input, actually. If you have any thoughts or opinions, uh, I'm, I'm going to try and draw my own conclusion. I don't think resurrecting her husband is the right call. But how do I complete that quest otherwise? I have to think about it. I have to think about it and I'll come back to it. Because uh, there's no harm in returning to... Uh, to places like this to to, 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 to to draw things to a conclusion. Now, on the topic of drawing things to their conclusions, there is something else I would like to investigate. First, I'm going to check this well out once more. A fetid smell assaults okay. your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. I was curious if that was going to change once we dealt with the hag, um, as we went to deal with the hag. I mean, of course, at the time, I didn't know that there was a hag, but let's leave this... Because I think what I actually want to do is, uh, do I first start with a long the rest? That might not be a terrible gate. idea. Do we need spell slots? Waste. Yeah, everyone, everyone kind of needs spell going. slots, eh? Alright. Let's make our way over to the Blighted Village, because that's where I want to go next. And uh, once we get there, we'll make camp, we'll take a long rest, hopefully have some conversations with some of our companions. And uh, then I'll show you what I was thinking about, oh, I guess it was two, three episodes ago, when I had a bit of an epiphany or realization. Uh, but yes, it is time for us to take a long rest to get some of those spell slots back. Hopefully this isn't going to cost us any... Um, ...progress with any of our quests or anything like that. But back to our camp we go, let's go ahead and long rest and... Ooh, oh no. I came just in time. You are transforming. What? Do I know your voice? Have I heard it before? Suppose I must have. But I don't think so. Who the hells are you? Your salvation. And not for the first time. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Is this... I'm trying to remember now, it was so long ago. Is this our guardian? I guess so, it must be. Take the hand offered to you, get up on your own, or recoil from any help. Oh no. Am I supposed to not trust her? I'll, 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 I'll trust her. I've trusted everybody else who's offered to save me from becoming a mind flayer, so why not her? I will take the hand. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. 
I will keep it from consuming you. But for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. fight for the fate of Faerun, a fight we are losing, for now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. You'll feel better, I promise. Dude, what? Um, what? <laughs> Embrace your potential. We were visited in our dreams by a mysterious figure who told us that our illithid parasites are special and the source of great potential. We use the power of our parasite to exert an influence beyond ourselves. How far does this power go? We found a special parasite like our own. We were drawn to its potential. I, I don't know if I trust my vision. I, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. All right, looks like we've got our long rest in. Because I, I jumped straight to the long rest rather than going to camp and then uh, opting to long rest. No one seems to have a conversation they want to have with me. Though I do have things I want to sell. And I believe Volo is a merchant. Um, so shall we... Shall we how... How do we do this? Get everything into wares and, 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 try, and try and sell it. Um, add to wares, uh, get everything over to me. Um, geez, I don't even, it's been so long since we've been at, uh, at a, at a, at a, at a shop. Uh, add to wares, sure, add to wares. Or I wish I could just kind of bulk add a, actually, you know what? I think it's been pointed out to me that I can, uh, add to wares. Let's go ahead and move a couple of things over and then I'll try it. First of all, the gold can come over here. Can we just add it to the same pile, please? Let me scroll up. Come on, game. <laughs> Let me come on, game. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Beauty. Got that up there. What else have we got? Music box. I'm gonna hold on to that. We got a, sh a long bow. All right. Sorry, folks. Just gonna be really quick about this. We've got a couple of short bows and long bows. Just gonna toss those over so we can sell them right now, and then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll be quick about this because we don't have to get rid of too much. But I believe if I control click, yep, there we go. Right click and add to wares. Beauty. It does in fact work. Thank you for that pointer. Again, I folks, I, I I do read all of the comments. If you have any thoughts, opinions, or suggestions, point them out. They will get read. They will get addressed. And as long as I can remember them, they will get applied as well. But I do believe that is pretty much everything that I want to get rid of right now. Everything else is looking like stuff we actually want to use or stuff that's already in our wares, I believe. Yep, so let's add you two to our wares. And uh, let's head on over to Volo to sell him some of our stuff. My friend! How do you fare? Encumberedly. Hmm. But first, has your research turned up anything that might help with this parasite problem? Come on. Enough with the theatrics. Just answer the question, damn it. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can I say no? 
<laughs> no, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I'd rather get a second opinion. I'm good, dude. <laughs> you won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. I'm still good. Bye. Thanks. No. <laughs> I trust Volo about as far as I can throw him. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'll, I'm perfectly fine. Uh, I thought he was a merchant. He's highlighted like a mer merchant. Can I sell you stuff now? My friend! How do you fare? Like I said, encumberedly. So, no, I can't sell him stuff. Uh, what about, uh, what about, what about, what about our good friend up over here, Withers? Slowly amble over since we are encumbered now, but let's speak to him, see if we can't sell him some of our stuff, because he is also marked as a merchant. And then we can go around and see if anybody has anything to say, because even though Volo didn't have an exclamation mark over his head, he did have new conversation options, so... I'm gonna just double check to play it safe. Fate spins along as it should. By the way, it was pointed out to me where we would Dost have seen thou Withers. require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? No, I, I wanna... I wanna sell you stuff. Why are you marked as a merchant? Well, I guess... I guess there are things I can do with him that involve money. Leave. Damn it. Frustrating. Okay, all this stuff. Can I shift click? Yes, I can. So you and all of you. Go ahead and send you to camp. Yep, pop that in there. Uh, same thing with you guys, right? I don't need you, you, you or you. Or you, or you. I have quite a few things that were not marked as wares that do need to be marked as wares, sorry. Uh, add to wares, and then let's go ahead and send you guys to camp as well so I'm not carrying you around needlessly. Got to do that more often. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean things up a bit more between uh, between sessions, but this is good enough for now. All right, fair enough. Let's go ahead and speak to some of these people then. See if they have anything to say. Start with Asteri, and he always has something to say. Let's see what he has to say right now. I had the strangest dream last night. Uh, there was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. I did. I did. I'm not going to lie about it. There's no value in that. We're companions. We're friends. Or so I think. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. We should take every advantage we can get. Let's explore these powers and see where they take us. No, I don't trust it. We should avoid using these powers. Again, they seem against the natural order. I've used them once or twice and every time I felt less and less like myself. Is there a reason you're such an utter drip? I mean, do you have some sort of condition? Honestly, it's like you hate good news. Did you actually want something? Or are you just here to spoil my fun? I feel like Asterion and I don't really get along. We don't really see eye to eye in a lot of stuff. Uh, what do you think is waiting for us at Moonrise Towers? I think it's better if you stay here in camp for a while. No, no, no. I'm going to ask him about Moonrise Towers, actually. That's where we're heading next, kind of long term, right? So Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours, but maybe answers, if we can convince the right people to talk. Fair. But yeah, no exclamation mark, but he had something new to say, something very relevant to what just happened. Also, as many of you pointed out, a lot of narrative stuff is tied to uh, these long rests, so I really got to stay on top of them, and I, of course, do intend to. Will, what will you say? I had a dream last night. A vivid one. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Yes. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is. The tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by elithid worms. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the same page. I think we should hear out this dream figure. Maybe these powers could be useful. No, we should have as little to do with these tadpoles as we can. Yes, agreed. Well said. This dream figure is no friend to us. Now, I'm open to being proven wrong, but this is where Bayar stands right now. How does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing a devil in the hells? Tell me, Will, how did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in the battle or did Volo poke it out of you? Uh, no, that's all good. Not interested in you right now, Will. There are bigger things afoot. Olsen, do you have anything to add to all this? 
You wish to speak? No, I actually wish to sell stuff. This shadow curse you spoke of. Secret stronghold in the Underdark. Moonrise Towers. And me apologizing for supposedly flirting with him. Nope, nope, nope. All good. Nothing important from Halson. Let's head on over then to Shadowheart and see what she has to say. Bedrolls got uh, our traveler's chest. Nope, Shadowheart. Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. Very pointed question. It happened to you as well. Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole. Use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but... I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess. In the waking world or otherwise. Yeah, nah, not a fan. Uh, you seemed intrigued by Halson's mention. Oh, this is all like our, our usual conversation points. I, I Again, I would like to engage with these at some point, but y'all let me know in the comments what you think. Like, do I delve into all these conversations with everybody? That's going to add plenty of hours to every episode, if you know what I mean, right? So like, do I be picky about it? Do I, I'm curious about your opinions because it does of course impact your viewing experience uh, just as much as it does my like playing experience. So I, I, I I'll read the comments, let me know if you have any thoughts, and uh, I'll, I'll adjust my course accordingly. But I do believe we are done at camp right now. There's nothing else to do. So uh, let's, yeah, leave the camp. And head back to the village. And at the village, I'm going to go, not this way, but this way, to the well. I remember just like, I don't know why but it occurred to me that when we were kind of scoping things out while we were tucked away over here and we were watching this guy kind of go back and forth that well stood out to me and then i completely forgot about it and now here we are back at the well and uh let's see what it has to offer hopefully something apart from an overgrowth of moss the well looks unremarkable is it though because i got an investigation role right here peer into the well DC of 10. Let's go ahead and get that guidance. And... Are you for real right now? I'm so sure. Am I going to use an inspiration for this? Or DC 10? I can't believe it. I probably should, right? Because a reroll has a decent chance of success here. So I will roll again. If, I swear to God, if this... After all that build-up, if this proves to be nothing... I mean, all you can do is laugh, really. Come on, baby, please, come on. Nice. <laughs> Was that so difficult? Good stuff. What do you got for me? Dry stones line the wall. At the bottom, something gleams in the dappled light. There we go. Uh, I could climb down the bucket rope. I could throw a coin into the well. Sure. Toss a coin. The coin disappears into the darkness. Landing with a soft clink. Okay. Seems like relatively safe ground. So we will climb down the bucket rope. Here we go. Very careful. Those webs carry vibrations. Webs carry vibrations? Okay. So a couple of successful survival checks and a couple of failed ones, it looks like. But the successful ones probably pointed out these webs that carry vibrations. Old backpack. What are we? What is this? Oh, what is that? What? What is that? Well, nothing good. <laughs> nothing good. Uh, this was supposed to be a well. All right. We're in the whispering depths. Map has nothing to show us. But let's see uh, what there is to find. Gold, short sword, onyx ring. Let's go ahead and send all this to camp. Pick you up, though. All right, cool. Great sword, studded shield. I think a bunch of adventurers have been here before. Examine that great sword. Do 12 damage, two-handed. All right. Uh, pick up an add to wares. I gotta send all these things back to uh, back to camp after we get encumbered or something like that. I'm not gonna spend too much time dealing with. Jesus Christ. 
Inventory management. Oh. Well, that wasn't good. Something didn't like that. Yeah. I was like, did my eyes deceive me? Because I saw some kind of like uh radial expansion there. That didn't look too good. Let's uh let's go all sneaky like. Old backpacks, spider silk cocoons. Oh no, okay, alright. Old backpack, are you hang on, this was Free marked for in tanking. red. Okay. Let's pick you up. You should be good. Bronze ring and a potion of healing. Grab that. Uh, sent to camp. Cool. Spider silk cocoons over here. Another old backpack up there. Ah, but that's on a lot of webbing. Don't think I want to touch that. And this vision cone is from what? Oh, Jesus. Oh, that actually caught me off guard. <laughs> Alright, so we got two things over here. Oh, man, I don't... Mm, that makes my skin crawl. Can't see if it has an HP bar or anything. It is not highlighted up there. Let's uh, try and find a way around it, behind it, perhaps, as a whole. What is going on here? Okay, let's head here first. Or actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, quick save. Because there's a high chance things will go horribly wrong over here, and I want to be prepared. Should I eliminate these spider silk cocoons? Will they turn out to be little hatchlings or something if battle breaks Should out? I'm not step. sure. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm going to go this way to start with. And I'm going to try to not interact with webbing as much as possible. And uh, hopefully I won't uh, upset anything. Oh, that makes me so uncomfortable. Burnt journal, cleaver. What is going on here? Tattered journal, heavy chest, ritual diagram. What is going on here? Can I read you or can I only pick you up? Check. Burnt journal. Yep. Most of this book's pages have been carefully burned. Oh, ooh, carefully burned away. Okay. Those that remain contain a single sentence rewritten in varying states of agitation. In her form, I find ecstasy. The spell is not enough. Okay, so if I were a betting man, I'd say that somebody is willingly transforming into uh, that spider we saw or that weird monster we saw that I can't identify. And uh, and they like it that way. There, that's that's my guess right now. It's a wild guess. Not gonna turn this brazier on. We had viscera. <laughs> Don't like that. Water. No, I didn't mean to point. I meant to pick it up. Can't ever have too much water. Bottle racks with nothing in them. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Someone's working on some kind of spell over here. Some kind of magic. Some kind of potion, perhaps. Oh, hello. Missives of Candlekeep. Soul coins of treaties. And on death and resurrection. Uh, send these all to camp. I believe we've read them all before already. This heavy chest, what do you have for me? Some answers, perhaps. Spider step boots. Immune to being in webbed, your movement speed is not affected by web surfaces. Okay, well that feels particularly important here. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Let's add you to wares. And uh, who gets the spider step boots? Uh, where are they? Spider step, there you are. So right now the speedy light feat gives us speedy sparks. When the wearer dashes or takes a similar action during combat, they gain three lightning charges. I should perhaps actually use that in combat. That would come in handy. Um, over here we have line breaker boots, right? Once per turn, when you dash, you gain Wrath for two turns. Okay, also good. Uh, the Water Sparkers, you know what? This isn't bad, the Water Sparkers, but in the current circumstances... Actually, Asterion is barefoot. So, let's get the Spider Step Boots onto Asterion. Uh, movement is quite important for him. So it's probably a good idea for him to... Um, you know, not get in webbed. I say movement is particularly important for him because he needs to like get into position to sneak attack and stuff like that. So let's let's pop those on him. Tattered journal. Go ahead and take a read over here. A journal filled with hastily sketched diagrams of spiders and various spell runes. The captions are largely written in code, save for a few passages near the end that are penned in shaky common. They can sense my devotion. It draws them. I hear them in the shadows, whispers from the dark mother. I woke to a gift wrapped in spider's silk. A pair of boots taken from a heretic's corpse. 
Love sends her daughters to reward my faith, to let me know I am on the right path. Another gift, the corpse of a drow, sigil scarred upon his face. An arachnomancer, one with the power to inhabit the spider's form. It is a message, a calling. My blood already dries upon the dagger. Her blessed image carved into my skin. Oh, man. All right, yeah, okay, so... I feel like I'm partly on the right path over here, so somebody's trying to transform into a spider. No traps, please. Uh, clearly they are not a druid, because shape-shifting into a spider is relatively easy for people like us, um, but uh, a little concerning. An ornate diagram is drawn upon this parchment, depicting a ritual of some kind. At the bottom, two figures, a spider and an elf, are sketched within overlapping circles. A single word is penned beneath them. Transcendence. Mmm, don't like that. In this chest, we have quite a few scrolls of web. Covers an area in thick flammable webbing. Okay. Dark vision, charm person, speak with dead, and thunder wave. Let's pop open our massive pouch of scrolls. Pop these guys in here. I really, I really ought to start using some of these up. We have 51 scrolls. I need to start using some of them. Okay. That's everything up here. Nope. Web covered journal. Give I'll that give a read a as well. Just to get an understanding of what we're up against over here. This book's leaves are stuck together with thick webbing that leeches ink when pulled from the page. Only the final entry remains remotely legible. It is time. I will forever transcend this blasphemous flesh and refashion myself in the Queen's image. No longer will I be bound to this lowly form, this base shape of organ and bone. Even the arachnomancers of Menzo Berezna... Menzo Berenzen shall weep at my feet, their little spells so feeble and fleeting. Today I found the house of Lolith, and I shall be its matriarch. All right, okay, some sorceress then, I suppose. Um, I wonder if... I need to go through my inventory and find if I have anything that counters spells, that dispels spells. I don't know if I do. I don't have... I don't think I have anything quite like that. I could be mistaken, but off the top of my head, I don't think I have anything quite like that. In this wooden crate, I find nothing. And what do I find here? Massive chasm. Find more webs. I find some high ground. I'm quite nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm actually quite nervous about, uh, about our situation over here. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting... Well, I guess I already found what I was expecting. I was expecting, um... Perhaps this skeleton? I'm trying to remember the passage exactly, but there was a passage in a book that we came across. I believe it was in that, again, same place where we found the book, The Necromancy of Thay, and the passage was about... Uh, well, it was just a sentence, not even a passage. It was about uh, some apprentice uh, falling into the well. I wasn't expecting to find all this. But now that I'm down here, I'm obviously curious. I come up top. Good strike from above. Ettercap. 33. That's not too bad. And you are a phase spider. Okay. Resistances to poison. Web walker. Dark vision. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There's not just one. There's two. Um, it does make my skin crawl, though. You, what are you? You are nasty. Oh, man. Infested. 2 to 8 damage per turn. Crawling with tiny spiders that deal 1 to 4 piercing damage and 1 to 4 poison damage each turn. When hit with a melee attack, the infestation spreads to the attacker. Upon death, the infestation spreads to all nearby creatures. Okay. Removed by fire or acid. Doesn't harm ettercaps or spiders. Okay. So ettercaps don't care about the spiders crawling in their skin. Just the thought of this is literally making my skin crawl. I do not like that. Um, uh, I don't know if using fire will actually remove it on an etter cap, though. But it's what we'll try, I suppose. Um, I suspect they are not friendly. Yeah, we can, we can attack them. We can't speak with them. So these guys are not friendly. I could try and take spider form and see if that helps me like sneak by or anything. But I imagine they'll be able to tell that I don't belong here. Um... Though, again, I do also have Speak with Animal. I do have to activate it, right? Because uh, we've taken a long rest. So I'd have to activate it. I don't think I'd be able to speak with these guys, though. I, I think this is a straight-up fight waiting to happen. All right. Got to figure out my approach. We have, what, some Icarus Egg Clutches. Oh, no. Oh, okay. 
You might be able to tell. I don't love spiders. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm arachnophobic, but I certainly do not like spiders. Got a spider egg up over there. Uh, this makes me very uncomfortable. But we're going to have to deal with it. I'm very curious about uh, what lurks in the Whispering Depths, folks. We're not going to find out until next time. This is where I'm calling it a session. Bit of a cliffhanger, I suppose, but truth be told, if I kicked off a battle right now, it would last a very long time, and we are almost at that hour mark. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a very big difference in letting me know what people are enjoying on the channel. Let's me know what I should maybe do differently, or what I should pick up the pace on, and what I should keep the same. Either way, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. They'll keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.